Hey y'all, Laura here with Cox Homestead, and today's video is a little bit different. I am not out at the barn, but I'm going to show you bunny-related stuff. I found a website called bunnyrabbit.com with some very useful things um, for my rabbitry, and I think that you might find them useful too. So I wanted to do a box opening and show you what I got from them, and um, maybe it'll be a good resource for you as well. opening the box for the first time I've not looked at what's in here ahead of time to make sure they sent me what I asked so this could be interesting if you go to bunnyrabbit.com you will see it is not like a new up-to-date flashy website it is um, very thorough but not up-to-date but it is a legit website or so we'll see once I open this. Oh man, this got a little bent. Dang it, I don't like that they did that. <sighs> okay, so that's my first review. This is a breeding board and they packed it in the box like that. Anyways, I guess I'll have to figure out how to straighten it up. But I will also go on to say there are scratches all over it. Ah, oh, disappointing. Anyways, I got this to hang up in the barn and um, write down the date I bred it, who I bred, the dame and the sire, or the dam and the sire, the dame, the dam and the sire, um, palpated. I don't do that, so I probably won't indicate that. Um, due date, number born, and then wean date. And I will probably, instead of put palpated, I may put um, like number born versus number survived. But anyways, this is a little plastic chart that you can write on with a Sharpie and then use a magic eraser and take those um, dates off and start fresh. All right, a little bit of packing tape or packing paper. Next up is a rabbit grooming brush. I have um, a double mane lion head that I'm going to need to start caring for. So I put pick that up there um, and it says soft slicker brush removes loose hair soft rubber grip handle stainless steel pins breeder recommended excellent for most small animals helps control shedding and um so this would be ideal for angoras and lion heads things with longer hair you can tell this is in a warehouse that's not ordered from much because this is like covered in a film so <laughs> it may be a legit website but it may be a little dated too Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at this bottle of spritz I ordered. The label is gone. This is a deodorizer and disinfectant uh, for rabbitries. Um, something stuck on the bottom there. Oh, my. It's like a bug. Uh, anyway, so this is to clean down the cages after I have had an animal in there and I want to put a different one in or um, one's been sick or something like that. So that is what that is for. Next, okay, the whole reason I, my hands are nasty. There's stuff all over this stuff. You need to wash them. I will. So the whole reason I found this website and placed an order for all of this stuff is because I wanted these. These are breeding cards doe breeding cards and they can, they're plastic and they can go on the cage um, and it has um, what buck you bred them with what date date born and this has b the number born the number died the number raised and then comments which I don't really know how you're gonna put comments in that little bitty section but I can put her name on there and if I tie, number their ears, I can put that on there and then her birth date on there. Um, and then you can also put her parents on there if you want as well. Um, and this, same as the other, can be wiped off with a magic eraser. So I wanted something like this so I can label my cages with names so that when I have someone else coming to help at the farm, or even for my kids, they don't always remember all their names, or maybe even my husband, it would help everybody know the, the names of the rabbits, first of all. And second of all, I can give specific feeding instructions and care instructions 
to my helpers um, if their cages are ID'd and I wanted something that was somewhat permanent. So I just ordered you know what I ate of each color this pink and yellow because you know I'm indecisive I couldn't decide what color I wanted and then I got these are the plate holders for those tags so this has two tabs and this will bend around the cage and I can slide this into it and that will be on her page, indicating the name and stuff. And I can even use these for a buck, and I may just put, you know, his name and birth date on the back of this. All of them can supposedly be rode on with a Sharpie, which I ordered Sharpies because it was like, I needed to get the free shipping, and they had these, and I got two fine point Sharpies that I can go in, and then um, I have magic eraser, so then hopefully wipe it off. That's the idea and what I gathered from the website about how that worked. So, let's see what else is in here. Ah, this is BioGroom Ear Mite Treatment. Um, I hadn't heard of this. It says, with aloe vera for dogs, puppies, cats, kittens, and rabbits. Kills ear mites and ear ticks. Aids in earwax removal, plastic applicator bottle, non-sticky, non-oily. And the active ingredients are pyrethrins, pyrethrins, and um, I probably shouldn't try and say that. Um, <laughs> let's just show you. Hopefully that will, will, will zoom in, or maybe I can put a picture of it on there. Um, caution, keep out of reach of children. So I'm going to keep it away from you. Uh, read the label, all of this. Um, it has here and if you get it in your eyes anyways this was just another ear mite application I wanted to try but the other thing I got um, which is going to be for preventative measures again this is super dusty too um, put this in dust probably yeah some dust. anyways this says used by June 2023 this is ivermectin and they on their website they have a full sheet of medications or sicknesses, medication, and dosage. And one of the things they had on there was iver using ivermectin for preventative ear mites. And it has the schedule of when you're supposed to do it. It's on here it says doses approximately one drop per pound of body weight given orally or injected. And I, it, they had a little tips on there and you could put this in their feed, you know, let them go a little bit hungry one day and then go put drops on their feed and then watch them eat it to make sure they get it that way instead of trying to like hold the rabbit and put it in its mouth. So I was pretty excited to do this. Um, it says for treatment of ear mites, fur mites, worms, and other parasites. I'm going to try this as a preventative on my rabbits for ear mites. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do it on all because this is a small bottle. I don't know how long it will last me, but I'm going to try it on a few and see if I like the way it works. So that is ivermectin which we all know, we've all heard of recently in the past two years, but mainly used for animals. Yeah. All right, so my overall thoughts on this is I feel like they have some legitimate products. Uh, I feel like it, the warehouse might be as old as the website, which, you know, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Um, I'm, I, the one thing I'm really disappointed about is I can't read the label on the, the spritz here. Um, I'm sure I can get online and find that because I'm going to need to know. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a concentrate. Um, if it's not, then I don't have a spray lid. I gotta, I gotta know that stuff, and it's not on there. So that's gonna be a little bit extra work for me. Um, but I'm happy to have that as I've been struggling to come up with a solution to sanitize my cages. I'm most excited about these little plastic cards. They meet my expectations. These look like they're gonna be a great solution to put on my cages and label my rabbits. This, um, I would really like it if it wasn't bent and scratched up. I, it's not like Amazon, I can't easily send it back, so I guess I'm gonna have to work with it. But I think this will be a good spreadsheet to have out in the barn where I don't have my computer. Um, I'm kind of a pen and paper type person. I think I'm gonna appreciate having that. So, overall, I think it was a good purchase. And um, I would probably buy from them again on especially these nameplate things. Um, 
if I needed. I believe I spent, it doesn't have my total on here. I think I spent around $100 for all this, because, um, and that was with shipping and all. So kind of an investment, but I'm hoping it'll be worth it to streamline my rabbitry with name tags and help get your mite under control. I don't have it really bad, but occasionally we have one that gets it. And I just, I don't even want that. I don't even want the occasion. So um, I would give it, let's say I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. <laughs> BunnyRabbit.com for your bunny rabbit supplies. Um, I ordered it last Friday maybe. So it took about a week to get here. Pretty good timing on that. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing what I ordered from this website. If you have specialty rabbit things you need, get on there and look. They may have it. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a phone number on there you could call too. Oh, yep, there's a day phone number you can call. Oh, wait, no, that's my phone number. Hold on. I was like, wait, they have an 812 phone number? <laughs> they have an email. You could probably email them. And then um, they're based out of Texas, and it will show you on their, their different... Um, methods of shipping and how long it might take so I was pretty pleased with the overall time of it getting here uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments about this stuff or if you've ordered from bunnyrabbit.com before and um, in the comments if you're a regular rabbit person what you use for air mites and air mite prevention well that's gonna wrap this up and I will see you soon in the meantime eat more rabbit <music>not sponsored paid nothing this is me looking around on the internet and found something um you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray you'll never know dear how much i